I'm starting a new series. It's going to be called uh, Driving with Chris. And I think I'm going to do two different ways of doing it. Like a discussion kind of, uh, you know, things that are on my mind or just maybe, I guess, ASMR kind of a thing. Um, or I could just, you know, just drive around the neighborhood or something and just, I guess, talk about where I live because I know a lot of people are curious about it. And I really wanted to use the, uh, the GoPro. Uh, I'm thinking about new ways to do it. I kind of want to get the drone kind of thing, I guess, for all my own personal use. But, um, yeah, so, for a lot of people interested, I'm in this is a sports car. I have a Mazda MX-5 2014, and it's a convertible, if you don't know. In the summer, if it's warm enough, maybe I'll, I'll take the top down and do it. It might be a little noisy, but that's all right. <laughs> um, yeah, I just want to do like little talks and stuff. Just maybe something cool and different for my channel that not a lot of people have. So, yeah. Another sports car. I got. I want to test drive it to see how good it is. But it's a. It's a 2000, probably 2018 by the time I get it. But Fiat 124 Spider. But I want the Abarth version, which has like a turbo and it's like. It's more powerful than than this car. But this car is actually the best-selling roadster in the world right now. But the Fiat is actually made by Mazda. It's like the same. The inside is almost exact. It's pretty much actually. I think it is exactly the same. But it has minor tweaks in it. It has like a backup camera, which the Mazda doesn't have. But I thought I think it's a cool car, and I, I want it. But yeah. So if, as you can see, there's a lot of snow. Last Thursday. There was a blizzard here on Long Island, and we got 13 inches of snow. And the winds were like 50 miles an hour. It was incredible. But it's been pretty mild weather lately. It's been maybe like 40s, and it's gonna be like in the 60s for the weekend, so a lot of this will be gone. But I hate living on the East Coast because it's like you gotta look at this crap for, you know, until it melts. And then when it does melt, there's like, uh, there's water everywhere. And I like my cars clean, so when I see uh, when I see this stuff, I try to avoid puddles and stuff. And you can't you can't avoid it. People whip right through it, and it splashes, and it gets the car all disgusting. So yeah, so I'm sitting on a red light right now. And what I'm gonna do really quick is I'm just gonna play around with the car, fling it around a little bit when I get away from a couple of these cars and it's just going to be like an intro video that I want to do for a new series but like I said I can't wait until the summer because it's going it's to be a lot it's a lot more fun to film in the summer than it is in the winter the winter is more depressing I think so yeah but like I can I can come out and you can see the, the trees and everything in the summer and everything and I can I can be out longer driving around because you know I don't have any school or anything like that to worry about, and it's to me it's more laid back and fun to drive around in the summer. Even the spring, you can see, you can see all the the flowers and everything. It's, it gets really pretty over here. Autumn, you don't it doesn't you don't expect autumn. You expect autumn to be nice, but around here it's like it's not it's not really that great. Most of the trees just they just get brown really quick and they drop the leaves and like it's like November and there's still a few crappy brown leaves and 
sticks. There's no, you don't see real fall foliage out here unless you go out on the island further where there's like a lot of forests and stuff like that. So, autumn is kind of boring over here. I have green memories from the autumn, but not nothing more recent. You enjoy stuff like that more as a kid. And snow days, I always look forward to snow days when I was a kid. Because, you know, you get the day off from school, you got nothing else going on. So, so there's something to look forward to. And now I have to clear property for the place that I work at, and it like ruins your whole day. So, you know, they're not as fun as they were when you know, I was a kid. about it is that it it turns off after a while it's like basically nothing's happening so it's it's not as exciting as like say having a Corvette or something because you can always you can always hear it and you it's like a different ride and I'm not a European car fan it's a big park where I used to play in uh, I'm not a European car fan because it's a different feel than Japanese. I like the Japanese sports cars because they're easier to maneuver. They're more fun to fling around, especially rear wheel drive. Uh, I like driving on turns. Driving straight to me is boring. So like, I'm not into racing and like NASCAR to me is like pointless. I don't, I don't get the appeal. Um, but I like fling the cars around. Like, if you can give me a track, but that's like wavy and everything. I would love that. Like I would like to go to, to Germany and drive on that street. That's cool. But what I was talking about with cars, um, I like, I, I like to me, European cars are cool looking, but the outside is like better quality looking than Japanese. Japanese tend to be more plasticky, but the German cars, I like the lights of them and everything. But to me, if I were to get one, it would be like as a secondary car that I would use on occasion. Like I really like the Volkswagen Golf. To me, that's a that's a fun car because I've driven that in automatic and manual. I prefer the manual for that car because it's so easy to shift. A lot of cars are annoying to shift. Like if you ever drive a Jeep Wrangler, the shift on that car I don't like. It's very it's very long, especially if you look at the old ones. The original ones years ago the shifter was like this huge obscure weird knob and it's like it's just like I don't understand obviously that was the technology back then but a lot of cars are kind of similar to that truck wise uh, they don't really make manual trucks except for like Jeeps kind of a thing but it's not something I like But yeah, German cars are, are stiffer rides than Japanese cars. Japanese cars feel better to drive, but it, it depends on your opinion, honestly, actually. But it's, to me, it's easier to drive a Japanese car because the handling is a lot better in certain aspects. If you like, if you like a tight, stiffer ride, then go for German cars. The only thing is a lot of German cars are not very reliable and I'm not being biased here. They actually are not, like they're quality materials and you think that, that that doesn't make any sense, but they make quality materials as in like the exterior, like the metals they use are really nice and the lights and stuff like that is nice. It's 
much better compared than compared to a Japanese. Uh, my I feel. But when it comes to quality of and reliability, overall quality of what you're buying, you get your bet better money's worth in a Japanese car, in my opinion. So you know, I guess it comes down again to to your opinion and viewpoint. But I, I mean, I do like the ride of a European car. It's just that I wouldn't want to own it and that be my only car. I want a car that I can easily move around like this one. But, you know, sometimes you want a stiffer feel. Or sometimes you want a smooth ride. So, I don't know. It's all preference, really. A lot of people really love European, a lot of people love Japanese, and then there's some people that like American. You know, you get your muscle fan enthusiasts and stuff like that. So, I never really cared much for American cars. Uh, to me, I don't really, they don't really do much for me. Like, if somebody was like, here, have a Mustang, you can keep it. I'd be like, alright, you know. But to, like, go out and be like, I want a Mustang, that doesn't appeal to me. I like small cars that are, you know feel more compact and I don't like the feeling of having something behind me and majority of people the, actually SUVs are a big thing now but a lot of people have sedans and you have the seats behind you and everything I don't I don't like something behind me I guess I'm so used to having a sports car I've been driving a roadster for eight years now about, about eight years eight years so, when I get in a larger car, it's just a weirder feel, you know? It's the same thing when you get an SUV. If you're not used to an SUV and you suddenly decide to buy an SUV, going that way, it, it, it's, it's different, you know? you know? You're not used to it. But I'm used to, I'm used to driving other cars because I worked at a dealership and I had to do stuff with multiple different kinds of vehicles. And, you know... I'm familiar, I can drive other cars, just that like I just really don't like driving larger vehicles. SUVs, I like a lot of people will be like, I want this this Jeep or whatever. Like to me, I would never want a Jeep. Well, because they're not good cars. Sorry for you Jeep fans, but they have terrible reviews. Chrysler, actually there's one right behind me. But Chrysler is rated the worst car company. Jeep, Chrysler, Dodge, the same companies. It's the same company. They all they just make different names on. Them. But they are not good cars. They have a lot of problems. And I just never got into American cars. I just don't see the, the draw for them. They, they have a lot of problems. And a lot of people agree would disagree with me, but honestly, that's how I feel. I just I would never own. American car. You know. I've never personally owned anything other than Japanese. I've never owned a European car before. And I'm just so used to Japanese cars. And that's kind of what I like about the, the, the Fiat Abarth because you get two different kinds of vehicles in one. You get the Japanese and you get an Italian car out of it, which is cool to me, because you get like the best of both worlds, but it's like, it's a different feeling, it's also a larger car, it's, it's like five inches bigger, I think, and you just feel like you can see the hood more than you do in, in, let's say, this car, and I don't really like the styling for the new MX-5, I think it, the headlights, I don't like the headlights, they're very small and narrow. And I'm not a fan of the taillights, and it's just, I don't, I'm not a big fan of it. And the counterpart to that is the, the Fiat, and I like the sportier version of the Abarth. And if you're familiar with the, the Scion FRS and the Subaru version of it, the BRZ, it's the same, it's like the same thing. But, well now they don't make the Scion now, they took it over as Toyota, but... It's like the same thing, they're like counterparts. 
but it's the same people who make them, so. Yeah. I hope you enjoyed <laughs> my little rant and driving around. I probably sounded a little weird with the ums and stuff like that, but it's hard to, I'm trying to get used to filming and driving at the same time, so. I hope this was different and you enjoyed it and I'll incorporate like, you know, other stuff with it. I'll have to figure it out. This is my first video doing it, so I'm not really too familiar with it, but yeah, so we'll see what happens in the future and uh, I look forward to doing more of these, so see you.